Good afternoon. Now, the Khrotjeskir Hospital in Cape Town has made history this week by becoming the first hospital in South Africa to perform a corneal neurotization procedure. It's an operation to remove a damaged cornea and replace it with healthy donor tissue. Complex medical terms right there. I don't even know if I've said them correctly. To help us and also understand what this is all about, I'm joined now by Dr. Ben Moody. He's one of the surgeons who performed this uh, ground breaking surgery on Tuesday. Congratulations, Doc, and thank you very much for giving us a little bit of your time. Did I get it right? It's corneal neurotization, is it? Yes, it is corneal neurotization. Okay, what is it? What is, what is this thing that we are all so happy about that you've achieved? Um, so, look, it's a very special operation. Um, it, it has to do with the outer layer of your eye, um, which does not have sensation in, in a certain uh, group of patients with specific diseases. Um, ultimately, they cannot um, protect the eye because the protective sensation is not there. And um, it's not only the sensation, it's also um, the eye loses its, its ability to heal itself and to maintain its, its normal and natural integrity. So um, these patients up to now, um, unfortunately, there's not too much that we could do for them. And uh, over a prolonged period of time, there's recurrent uh, injuries and ulcerations of this outside. Um, and with healing, um, it heals with scar tissue. Uh, and ultimately, um, the patient becomes blind. So what we've done um, is um, we've taken a, a sensory nerve from the leg uh, and we've transferred to the face. Um, the one end we hook up to um, a sensory nerve uh, on the opposite side, just above the normal eye, um, and then relay um, this nerve, uh, making a tunnel uh, over the nasal bridge and then into the affected eye. We spread the nerve into little um, branches and then attach the nerve into the eye. Um, this is then almost like a conduit for the new nerve fibers to grow. Um, so over the next few months, we're expecting uh, new nerve fibers to grow into the eye and then restore the natural and protective sensation of the eye and, uh, with this process, preserving uh, the patient's vision. Yeah, so the first uh, patient it was a Claremont resident, Ingrid Barge. We, we've seen pictures of her uh, uh, in some other media. And, and the, the operation was a success? Well, at this stage, um, the initial operation is essentially uh, preparing everything and laying the, 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 the nerve graft uh, in its position um, to know whether it's a success or not, we'll have to see within the next few months um, as the new nerves grow into the eye. Um, our patient will be assessed um, every few months and the sensation of the eye tested um, to see how well and how quickly um, the new nerves grow into the eye. Okay. Now, this is a very uh, significant kind of, mo of moment for medical history, I'm told. It's a first for South Africa. But there are quite a number of people, as you said, who require this surgery at Hrotiskir Hospital. Are you anticipating you're going to have more such operations, depending on the progress of patient one, let's call it that? Um, yes, definitely. Um, there's quite a few patients that have this uh, in general. Um, this condition called neurotrophic uh, keratopathy um, ultimately results from, from any um, disease or pathology that affects the nerve of the eye, um, which includes brain tumors and infections and trauma. Um, so there's quite a few patients uh, that have this. Uh, at this stage, um, we'll have to do a lot of work in terms of um, getting the news out there and um, patient education because up till now uh, they've been told uh, nothing can be done for them. So okay. going forward, um, there's uh, a lot of patient education uh, to inform them of what can be done. Thank you very much. Dr. Ben Moody, a plastic surgeon at Hrotiskir Hospital. He was one of the surgeons who performed that first ever uh, corneal re-innovation surgery in South Africa. Now,